for chivalry. Hello and welcome to 99 Games, where we play 99 games of level 99 games featuring La Yacht Club games. That's a lot of the word of games. I'm your host, Marco DeSantos, also known as Mechanic Rick, and as we promised, we are here to play some Exceed Shovel Knights. With me is a very, very special guest, the one, the only... D, Daniel Zeiger, aka Tyrion Pin for short. D, I'm st mm, okay, that works. You used Tyrion Kin for short this time, instead of uh, almost your got full you. name for sure. Yeah, I almost, I almost got the, I, I almost got destroyed by your mix-up, your your name mix-up. Um, so Daniel, uh, for people who have probably never seen you or heard of you before, who are you? Uh, I am just an overexcited fanboy who loves playing Exceed. I'm in the online community playing a lot, uh, and I do some streaming when I can, uh, usually at least once a week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Daniel, you also forgot to mention that you are current Exceed World Champion. That's true. Uh, that happened pretty recently, though. Yeah, but I think it i think it lends a lot of clout to who you are and how good you are at this game. Uh, well, prepare to be disappointed. <laughs> well, number one, this game isn't going to be a serious game. This is a game to show off the awesomeness of these characters. So you don't have to... Please try not to body me so hard, okay? Prepare to be disappointed. Prepare to be disappointed. All right, again. all right. Okay, so we're gonna be playing Shovel Knight against Plague Knight. Uh, for people who have watched some of the videos before, you will know that this Shovel Knight is actually not like the old Shovel Knight. This Shovel Knight is a tag team fighter where Shovel Knight and Shield Knight work together so that they can defeat their opponents. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? I am Plague Knight. Um, I am a chaotic and unpredictable alchemist. The bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist after all. I can throw cards away to yeah. combine them together, to fuse them into powerful attacks, which will do things that I even I can't predict. Yeah, because you discard those cards at random. So you kind of mix this potion, and hopefully the bomb explodes in a way that's useful. I am always wearing the pandemonium cloak. Yeah, of course. And every game of Exceed starts with the magical coin flip. Daniel, call it. Tails. Actual god. I never win coin flips. Mm-hmm. Well, I want All to right. have a smaller hand because I'm Blake Knight, so I'll go first. All right. As usual, I have kept my cards open so that the fans can see them. I'm going to mulligan some cards. Peace. Mm. Okay, I'm mulliganing. Is that the past tense of the word mulligan? Mulliganing? I choose to believe so. Well, not past tense. Okay. Past tense would be mulligan. Right. I have mulliganed. So, okay, whatever, man. Words are weird. Mm -hmm. I've mulliganed three cards. Very well. So, ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. Your first turn. Good luck, go, and my have friend. Fun. Uh, I'm oh, going man. to boost. I always have fun. But when I say boost, I mean burst. I'm going to use the bomb burst, so I will explode forward three spaces. So you essentially bomb jump, right? Yep. Iconic. That's something Plague Knight actually does in his campaign. It's Very really much cool. so. Right. Um, Jumping is lame. Let's explode instead. My go, I will strike. <sighs> You're striking. At this range... Very well. I will wild swing at this and, hour, at and this time. <laughs> after setting my attack, oh. I'm going to discard a random card from my hands. Please take a card out of my hands. All right. Ooh, your attack is now also a cross. It has after retreat three. All right. Let's yeah. Set that here. Let's reveal our attacks. It's block. block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really interesting card. So my attack is grasp. So All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter zoom in mode. So now we can see the cards closer and we can see the board state better. Um, so now we're fighting block against grasp. I'm gonna hit you for sure. The real question is, do I want to let you go super far away from me? So if I put you here, you will retreat three and end up in this space. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> Okay. I guess I'll let you. I could spend so some I'll, I'll put you here with my attack. Yep. Uh, 
I'm deciding if I want to spend force. I I won't. I'll take the one, and then I will retreat. It's a lot of retreats. All right. We go back. I get one card in my gauge. Cool. Uh, do you want it sideways or not sideways? Uh, let's mm. do it not sideways. I feel like we're going to have... I'm planning on getting a lot of gauge. I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, gauge is great. It is your go. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to boost for power. Power. I will EX strike. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, from such a long range. So from far away, what could possibly happen at this range? Well, I see that you don't have any actual ranged attacks. So, well, until you have gauge for ultras. So I'm going to assume you're going to walk toward me. So I'll set this, and after setting my attack, please discard a card right. at random from my hands. Let's see... It's a triple dose, uh, so after you draw a card. That's unfortunate. It's much better you to strike with. boost it with this. Or yeah, boost. it's much better to strike with or boost with, for sure. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's Indeed. Reveal. Our reveal. <coughs> Ooh, that's disappointing for me, <laughs> but really interesting. So, Marco, why are you playing a dive at range 5? <laughs> well, dear listener, I've activated my Shield Knight card. During strikes, your advance and close effects starting from this space may travel up to one space further. So instead of just three, I get to go four. It's optional. You could choose to only go three spaces. Yeah, but why would I choose to do that and then eat eight damage for nothing? Uh, because we're friends? Huh, that's a really good point. No, winning this game is more important than friendship. I know. I that's know right, this. I said it. That's right, I said it. All right, um, so this is an EX. This goes into my discard. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you hit me back for how much? Well, I have eight power and you have one armor because that's EX. So you'll take seven and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, you're going to make me discard a card. I surely am. No, uh, my blocked. block. Can I block that discard? Uh, no. No, you can't. No? Nope. Well, that's also, disappointing. I'm going to draw a card for my after effects. That's wonderful because you were not stunned despite eating six damage. Well, this is your goal. It is indeed. I have two gauge, which is just enough. Just enough to do the thing, which is to exceed. Yep. So now, what's your exceed ability? It's exactly the same as my front side ability, but after I do it once, I can do it a second time in any given strike. Ooh, so I you can, can use discard even two more cards. cards together. Yeah, fusion. No, not card fusion. That's a different game. Oh, okay. That's my okay, game I will um, do something really weird. Because mm -hmm. I'm running out of cards and I'm losing all of my hope. Oh. I therefore use the Shovel of Hope. Whoa. I will spend one force and draw four cards. That's a lot of hope. Then add the Shovel of Hope into my gauge. That's a lot of hope. Yeah, uh, and then draw a card for the end of my turn. Wonderful. Hmm. Well, that means I have to find a way to fill you with despair. But why? Because you have the Shovel of Hope, but I'm representing... Uh, well, no, I guess I'm not representing Despair. Hmm. You're representing the Shadows, which I guess are kind of like Despair? It's not like the opposite of Hope, so I was kind of going for the whole opposite thing. Well, yeah, but your campaign's called the Plague of Shadows, man. I'm just gonna blow you up. Uh, I'm gonna wow. set my attack and discard a card at random. This feels like I'm, you know, it's like you're 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 making me pick my poison. <laughs> is is what I'm feeling right like right now because it's like I'm so terrified of what these cards could be. Precisely this one. Ooh. You draw until you have four cards in hand. Well, that's with, really bad for with, me. With that after effect, I might as well use my ability. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. Oh, do that. didn't mean to. Do that. Okay, that's uh, a second time. Discard another card at random from my hand, if you would. Ooh. You cross out. Again. Alright. Well then, set your response. <laughs> Play your last pitiful card, Marco. Here's my attack. Hopefully it's not Staff of Striking. It is Assault. That is rough for me. That is great for me. <coughs> Alright, well, I'm hitting you and gaining advantage, and I have four power coming in. Would you like to spend any force? I will spend one of my gauge's force, and just replace it with my block. Alright. 
Uh, so after I retreat three, stops at the wall, and I draw until I have four cards in hand. Yeah. And I gain advantage, so I'll take the next turn. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to... This is so tempting. This is so tempting. Well, temptation is the mother of all invention. I've worked all my life to perfect this this formula. I will spend four force. Oh my gosh, you're doing it. Including both ultras. To play a strike. To strike with Serum Supernus. Wait, oh. I changed my mind. I'm going to Wild Are Swing. Wild Swing instead. And then oh. I'll discard this card at random. Oh my god. So, so that's what happened, right? Since this is the only card left in your hand when you quote unquote discard at random. Um, it's the only possible card. Precisely. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here. I have to defend on curve. I will cross out of your attack, whatever it may be. Or will you? Uh, you can. Okay, oh, so oh. so new season mechanic, new new quote unquote season mechanic. But the new mechanic in exceed is that's a four special. So instead of spending the cost because it was a wild swing, it's just like an ultra in that regard. I can invalidate it and skip to the next card. Okay, yes. So right now it's so range I assume five. you will do that. Uh, yeah, because it will miss. So, no, that's lame. Better card. Sweep. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I Sweet. breathe yeah. a sigh of relief. <laughs> Crossing out was good. Oh my gosh, I was like, I was like, please don't be anything that will hit me. So, um, I'll go first. I'll hit you for three, but do you have armor or I something? I have two armor, yeah, because I'm Supernus. Oh, wow. Serum Supernus is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you did work all your life to get all the essence for that. Exactly. Right? Well, I, I'm going to run away like a scared little knight and go to my girlfriend, uh, Shield Knight. All right. Well, you're out of my reach, but I still have my after to draw until I have four cards. Why well, are you drawing so many cards? You've drawn like way more cards than I have. I am so hungry for power. I cannot help but consume my deck. All right, well, it seems that you have exceeded for long enough. It is Shield Knight and Shovel Knight's time to shine. So you're going to polish your armor? Yes, we're going to power up, exceed. Ooh. Shovel Knight, now my effect is that as an action, I may place Shield Knight into any space. Remember that it used to be I can place her into my space or move her one. Shield Knight now gains a new ability, so now she has that thing where she lets you bounce off her shield and extend your movement, but she also now has plus two armor if she's between you and me, Plague Knight, so be ready, because uh, Shield Knight's going to block all of your hits. Uh huh. All right. I will draw a card for the end of my turn. Your go. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'll prepare. And I will take my action and place Shield Knight onto any space. Shield Knight will be here. I draw a card for the end of my turn. Very well. I will explode again to advance three. Ah. Dang, you're advancing so much. Hmm. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, I will move Shield Knight between us mm -hmm. and draw a card. I will obtain a tonic, which will let me copy a hit effect in my attack. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Well, I will activate my trap card. Um. Uh, I activate full defense. If Shield Knight is between you and me, you can't even hit. The defense is up and ready. So, that's nice and all. Aww. I'm just gonna advance too. But why? Well, um. Why do you do this we're to friends? me? It's a pretty good standard answer. Why do you do this to me? Because I need to deal damage to you. All right. I can't do that for another day. Well, I will activate Quick Switch. I may spend one force if Shield Knight is in an unoccupied space. 
switch sides with her, then take another action. I will um, get rid of this card and switch sides with my shield knight. All right, well, take another action. All right, I will EX. Oh, will you? Yes. Well, guess what? You will also EX. I will also EX, and I'm going to discard a card. be discarding a card at random. Please take a card out of my hand. I will take this card. Take another card out of it my hand. It is another giant bomb. There you go. Oh, it's dive. That's the one oh. I wanted. All right. So I'm just going to beat this out. What do we got? I'm speed four. Your speed is two? I am speed. Yeah. Well, guess guess what, Marco? Yeah. What's I up? I used my before effects, and now I'm not on the other side of Shield Knight. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate for me. So I will use my hit effects to reveal the top card of my deck. Uh, it is a normal, so it goes into your gauge. That's pretty. Okay, well now I'll copy my hit effects with my hit effects. Mm -hmm. Which is not a normal, so I discard it and I get plus two power for a grand total of eight. Now I ignore armor and guard, so I will stun your charge slash. Yes. You will deal how much damage? Eight. Five plus one, one EX two, plus three, three four, five, six, seven, eight. And as oh, an that's after unfortunate effect, for me. I will advance one. All right, sounds good. Wahahaha. Wahahaha. No, no. I, I Only get, you I get, get to, to say that? Only I get to say All right. All right. Well, it's your go. It, it sure is. Uh, frantic Research. Mm -hmm. I am going to draw two cards, and then I'll strike. Sounds good. And I'm going to strike and then randomly discard Focus. All right. <laughs> uh, quote, unquote, randomly. <laughs> So I will, this is my response. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. That Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Well, if I push you behind her, then you'll have armor. So I'm just going to push you one. Oh, on top of her. Interesting. Yeah. So you'll take the full three damage. One, two, three. And then I draw a card I'll... for my after. And then I draw two cards for my after. Oh, wow. You've already reshuffled. <laughs> I'm nowhere even near. Yep. Uh, so I will hit you and force you to discard a card at random from your hand. Yep. Uh, I will discard this one. Oh. It's your other dive. Uh, ah. I'll never get it back. Goodbye, dive. All right. And I took my six. All right. Your turn. I will spend one, two, <clears throat> three, four, five force to draw six cards with my change cards action. Yep, that makes sense. Well, I will strike and randomly discard this. Well, that sounds good-ish. So I'll also be drawing a bunch of cards. <laughs> You're gonna deck yourself out at this point. I don't worry about the details. Don't worry about the details? Alright. I will respond with this. It's focus. It's block. <laughs> I love it. All right. I love it. So you're going to hit me. Uh, I'll go ahead and take two damage. But I'm not stunned, so... Oh. I'm sorry, and you no, draw a card. I draw a card first. I draw a card first. Well, then I draw more How cards. How dare you? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, that was my strike, so it's your turn. Yeah, it's, it is my go. So you have one block here. Uh, do you mind telling me what normals you have? Because I'm obviously not going to focus uh, reading you. Well, I did just but... reshuffle, uh, and all the cards that I had before the reshuffle I discarded. So you don't know much about what I could have left. All right. That's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. You know that I have one copy each down of uh, Block, Spike, and Grass, and then I have both copies of Assault gone. All right. I will play Discovery's Boost. Quick Step. Oh, and advance or retreat one, then take another action. I will retreat behind Shield Knight and then take another action. Mm -hmm. I will EX. Uh oh. Uh. No fear. No regrets. I will. Also EX. <laughs> and I will discard a card at random. Oh my gosh. We will discard this one. That's Spike. It's your it spike. doesn't have any before, hit, or after effects on it. Alright, well, I'll discard the other one. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. I mean, you could have always gotten that whenever you wanted. But you so know, let's reveal our attacks. This time I also lost a spike. It's Spike! Oh. 
Well, uh, I'm C3. Would you say that this attack was Spike C? No. I would no. never say that. I, oh, well, I discard my copy for the EX. All right. um, I am definitely faster and deal six damage to you. Which ignores my armor and guard. Yes. Mm. Armor guard. I will retreat two spaces, spinning course. Uh oh. I will move Shield Knight to this space, and then I will draw a card for the end of my turn. That's not suspicious at all. I will prepare. I will also prepare. I'll prepare more. I will spend one, two, three, four force to go on to shield knife and then draw a card. All right. This is concerning. Am I doing you a big concern? I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, I guess I'll... Ah, no, I see. Uh, I will reading. Uh, I have to name a normal here. And... I'll reading cross and strike, and then I use my ability to discard a card at random. Cross? Yeah, discard a card for me, please. All right. Um, take this. And another one, please. Take this. Okay. So now your attack will draw a card and make me discard a card when you hit me, and you will also retreat three spaces. What this? If you have a cross, you must respond with cross. Yes, sorry. I do not have a cross in my hand. Oh. Please view. Uh, one, two, five, drop, drop. That's a pretty good hand. Yeah, I will agree. I'm terrified of what your attack is. Good, you should be. Good. Um, sorry, uh, would you mind telling me how many copies of Staff of Striking you have in your discard? In my discard pile? Sorry, st Staff of Surging, I believe is oh, the name of it. Oh, Staff of Surging, yeah. Striking is a different item. Uh, I have one copy in my discard pile. Excellent. Well, I will why just play focus. That? Oh, okay. Well, I'm actually just blocking. All right, well. <laughs> All right, this time I'm going to spend a force to take no damage. All right. And then I can't hit you. But I retreat. Oh, sorry. Draw a card. Sorry, sorry. I draw a card first. Then I retreat. Sounds Gucci gang. That makes it your turn. It does indeed make it my turn. Um, I will activate. Hop. Move Shield Knight one or two spaces, then take another action. I'll move Shield Knight between us, and then I'll take another action. Mm -hmm. I will strike. I will wild swing and I will randomly discard my chain reaction. Randomly, quote unquote. Randomly. Oh, uh, Castle Crasher! Oh, we're not the correct range for it. I could oh. validate it. For just for the armor? Yeah. And the draw. Nah. Go big or go home. Hey! Giant bomb. That's pretty big. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Um, so I will go first. I will hit you and force you to discard a card. You don't have any. And then you take six. And uh, then yep. um, you hit me for f six. But wait a minute. Oh. Shield Knight's between us. I gain extra two armor, so I only take four. That's fine. I get to draw four cards. Well, you also get to move. Uh, advance or retreat one space. Yeah, but I can choose to do the draw first. So I'm doing the draw first. Of course. Uh... So I, I think the optimal play for you would be to retreat into the corner like the little coward you are. I night. see. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, not a chance. I'm going to advance. But why? Because I know something you don't. I thought we were friends. Is it my turn? Yep, it is your turn. 
I'm going to discard a card at random, and I'm going to do it again. So both are discarded. Staff of Surging and your Long Pitch. <coughs> so if I get stunned, you draw two cards, and uh, you may spend one Force for bonus power. I'm going to play EX Assault. Oh. All right. Well, good game. Oh my god. <laughs> if I played anything... Okay, okay, so let's resolve this turn. You play your Ultra. Uh, so, Triple Dose is a really interesting Ultra because it just looks like a bad sweep, right? It has less power and it has less speed. Uh, but why do you want to do this Ultra, Daniel? Because it lets me do a lot of things. So your before like hit and after triggers resolve two additional times. So you would have drawn six cards if you stunned me, and then you would have been able to spend three force for plus two power each. Uh, well, the hit is before the after. So actually, I probably shouldn't have used both copies because I didn't have any force left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, well, well. Uh, so I have more speed. I come in, and then I hit you for four damage because you EX'd. Yep. Great game, Daniel. It was worth it. Thanks for going easy on me. Uh, yes, I definitely did that. You totally did. You totally did, yeah, right? Uh, to save face. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. So um, that's an example of the two characters from the new season of Exceed, Shovel Knight. Um, I really am excited for a lot of these characters. And in fact, Shovel Knight is not even like my favorite character of the set. Uh, for people who watched the previous episode of the podcast, uh, my favorite character in the set is actually King Knight. So um, maybe him in the next episode. Who do you want to see in the next episode, Daniel? Oh, I want to see Tinker Knight. Oh, do you like the big boy? I, I do. Actually, I, I much prefer never to get into mech at all. I'm excited by the prospects of running around throwing riches at people until they stop moving. Of course, uh, because the only way to give them the ultimate shame is to tell them, I don't even need my giant mech. Exactly. Yep, that's, that's actually perfect. I really, really like that. But fans, Shovel Knight players, how about you? Who do you want to see in the next game? Tell us in the comment section down below. So that pretty much does it for this episode of 99 Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and I, because I obviously did. Uh, I won, therefore I enjoyed it. Question mark? Hmm. How about you, Daniel? You lost, therefore you also enjoyed it. Absolutely, I played Plague Knight. I did all the things. Oh my gosh, that, that one turn where you just drew like eight cards after each other, like, <sighs> spicy. Really, really good. Um, yeah, and Shovel Knight's... Shovel Knight and Shield Knight kind of work in tandem. You saw me like, you know, oh, I swap places with Shield Knight. Shield Knight defends me. Uh, Shield Knight can push you and stuff like that. It's really awesome. And I'm glad that we were able to show off some of the things that these characters can do. So without much else to say, it has been me, your host, Marco Santos, also known as the Mechanic Critic. With me has been the one, the only, the Plague of Shadows himself. D. Tiernkin, or Daniel Zeiger for short. You mixed it up again, but whatever, it's fine. If you like this episode, please share it with a friend. And of course, if you hate it, share it with an enemy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to change cards. And thank you, World of Shovel Knight. Thank you, and good night, Knight. Happy gaming. Shovel Knight Exceed is available for pre-order now. Check the link to get the bundle and get a discount.